So what is PSTC? Well, PSTC is the Predictive Safety Testing Consortia. Um, by name, it's a consortia, it's a public-private partnership. What we do is we bring together over a, a dozen pharmaceutical companies into the pre-competitive space to collaborate. We also supplement our consortia with academic scientists that are interested in, in drug development and drug development tools and safety biomarkers, as well as health authorities. And, and what we do is we, we work together to go ahead and come to consensus around you know, the different projects we wanna work on around safety biomarkers, the, the target organs that we're interested in, the types of biomarkers that we're interested in, and then we share data around these biomarkers. Because, you know, it's just not one or two companies that are working on novel safety biomarkers, but instead it's almost all of the pharmaceutical companies in one way or another are involved in this. So they have all this data and all this knowledge around these biomarkers. And what we try to do is, is, is pull um, everyone together in, into this pre-competitive space and figure out then how to move forward. Many times, we don't have enough data, right? We have exploratory data and we begin to understand both the, 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 the um, analytical tools we have to measure these biomarkers. We understand the, the, the clinical validation that we have for these biomarkers. And then in many cases, we have to then work together and um, conduct studies, prospective studies to basically demonstrate um, the fact that these biomarkers are doing what we say they're doing and, and they're, 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 they're predictive of what we're saying they're predictive of. Now, it's interesting. Um, the PSTC model is very unique because we uh, have quite a bit of in-kind contribution. In other words, companies are willing to do different studies to analyze samples, to analyze data as part of their participation within the PSTC. Now, you know, it's it's hard to believe unless you're a part of the consortia, but, you know, for instance, one of our members will generate that data, right, do a live phase study uh, and, and, and generate the samples uh, for these biomarkers. And then another company will take on the activity of uh, actually analyzing the amount of biomarker that's present in whatever biological fluid we're interested in. Well, a third company will actually do the final statistical analysis to demonstrate the correlation of the biomarkers to say histopathological lesions or to some other adjudicated outcome and then present that data to the uh, entire team. And then so it's a very, very collaborative model, very unique um, and very successful. So you may, might ask what's the role of CPAP in this beyond just um, coordinating, you know, these, these study activities. Well, you know, what we have become very uh, good at, very adept at, is being able to put together the, the regulatory packages that are gonna be presented to FDA, EMA, PMDA, and negotiating these packages as far as what needs to be in them and how that data needs to be interpreted and what more needs to be done um, uh, with these, these health, with the health authorities, um, such that we're successful. So, you know, very much like a, a regulatory affairs group within a pharmaceutical company, CPAT takes on a lot of the activities of negotiating with the, the health authorities, as well as, you know, pulling together these regulatory documents. And they're all different for each of the, the, uh, the, the health authorities, um, to, to, to be able to be successful. So, as we've talked about before, qualification is very important, right? But again, it's, it's, it's the means to the end. And, and what we're trying to do in the end is, is actually change the way that we think about um, drug development and how we actually do drug development. But um, we, we need to realize that this process of, of qualification um, is a very important step because what it does is it again brings about this idea of regulatory certainty, right? Where we can go ahead and align expectations between the health authorities and the drug development scientists 
on how these biomarkers are going to be used and how they're going to be interpreted. And so thus, it, it provides confidence to both of those stakeholders that these biomarkers are actually performing the way that, that we hope they're performing, right? It's, it's really the ultimate test, if you will, for the performance of the biomarkers.